we started this year, I said, we went to Boone, and I said, that'll be the second best band we've heard all year, and so far, I'm right. And they're by far the by best. far. Lee Nelson, Steve Lawson, and the pep band. Beautiful sounds here in the dome. All the semifinals are in the dome. Just two more to go, Larry. The Harlan Community Cyclones against the uh, Central Lion Lions, and then Grinnell and Decorah will be the final game tonight, and we'll be set for Saturday. But it uh, should be a great football game. Well, it all stacks up that it will be a good football game because offensively, Central Lion looks extremely fast. And I, and I would say that the Harlan Community Cyclone defense is extremely quick. That should be a great matchup on both sides of the ball. The coaching matchups, uh, Kurt Blatt and his staff of Russ Gallinger, Ken Carsons, Bill Ozak, Al Simdorn uh, in the dome for like the 15th time. How about the Cyclones? Cyclones on offense, starting at quarterback, 6'8", 223-pound senior Brody Darren. Running back, 5'10", 189-pound senior Ryan Fagan. Fullback, 5'11", 172-pound senior Todd Sondag. Split end, 6'2", 171-pound senior Ben Hall. Tight end, 6'1", 172-pound senior Paul Bruck. Right tackle, 6'4", 295 and a senior, Tim Hemminger. Right guard, 6'4", 265 and a senior, Jeff Strong. At center, 6'3", 240-pound senior, Todd Blatt. Left guard, 6'5", 225-pound senior, Jared Barrett. Left tackle, 6'2", 215-pound senior, Chad Plum. At flanker, 5'11", 172-pound senior, Eric Manns. And doing the place kicking, 5'8", 161-pound sophomore, Jamie Martin. And the Cyclones averaging 39.4 a game in, on the scoreboard. Uh, 225 pounds a man, end to end. 189 in the backfield, 212 on offense. It's a big Cyclone offense, and they're also quick. They're very quick. They're very quick. It's about all you can say for them. Defensively. Defensively for the Cyclones. At defensive end, 5'10", 170-pound senior Adam Pash. Defensive tackle, 6'2", <coughs> excuse me, 215-pound senior Chad Plum. Nose guard, 5'8", 205-pound junior Clayton Sorensen. Defensive tackle, 6'5", 205-pound senior Matt Schwery. Defensive end, 5'11", 192-pound senior Rick Thompson. At the linebacker, 5'11", 196-pound senior Tim Jacobson. 5'10", 200-pound senior Mike Burchett. Or 5'11", 197-pound junior David Bruck. But I think Burchett gets the nod. That tonight. is correct. I talked to Coach Blatt about five minutes ago. He said Burchett will get the start. At the monster back, 5'8", 162-pound senior Tony Studer. At the corners, 5'10", 175-pound junior Ryan Lawler. And 5'6", 166-pound senior Adam Studer at safety. 6'1", 181-pound senior Chris Suizo. And doing the punting is Todd Sondag. And defensively, the Cyclones average 196 a man up front, 187 as a team. And again, quickness is the name of the game. So on this rug, this should be very, very interesting. Uh, have to keep the throttles on Adam. Boovey, the fine senior quarterback for the Lions, he kind of he's the key to the whole thing. Cyclones defense been awful stingy all year. Well, it appears that if and nobody has, but if you can stop or slow up Adam Boovey, you go a long ways towards winning a football game. That's for sure. The Cyclones defense average giving up 9.4 points a game. And, and Larry, usually at this time of night we talk about the rest of the state, the district, so on. There's only two games left in the semis. The Cyclones and the Lions followed by Decorah and Grinnell. Well, we know how we're picking this one. And we know how we're picking this one. How are you picking that second one? I'm going to pick Grinnell in an upset. Okay, and I like Decorah in that one. So, uh, from the Unidome on HCTV with Pat Hemminger on the camera, I'm Dave Coos for Larry Miller, and we'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. The Cyclones are going to get the football first. The Lions will kick it off, so the Cyclones going from south to north on your radio dial from left to right. The Lions in their purple jerseys with white numerals, gold pants, gold helmets. The Cyclones in their road whites, white jerseys, black numerals, gray helmets, gray pants. Cyclones huddled around Coach Blatt. Larry, we're about ready to kick her off in the semis. What are your final thoughts? Well, like I told you when we uh, 
did our first little deal with the uh, TV station. I was fine till then, and since about three minutes after six, I've been pretty wired, so let's get this thing going. <laughs> so what else is new? <laughs> what else is new? First quarter, halfway through, well, a little more than halfway through, 5.46 to go. We're scoreless. The Lions send wide receivers both sides, eye in the backfield. This time the tailback. Nothing. Ben lost Z, he's lost one or two. by Tim Jacobson for a loss. Just a straight off tackle to the left side. Lost one. And Tim Jacobson stunning through, going to throw him for a loss. It's going to be third and about 10 at the 45 of the backfield. Booby down the line, going to pass, going to get He's going to get nailed. And dump. Tim Jacobson. Tim Jacobson. Thompson, but Tim Jacobson dumped him. They had the belly pass. He's Sacked taking him. to the fullback. And fourth down, and the Cyclones hold him. It's back in Lion territory at the 40, 47, I'll call that. Shaman is back in punt formation. Studer and Fagan deep. And there is oh, a yeah, they are kind of a wobbler. Not very good. Come off to the side. That oh, look at that. Studer will take it, and he's up to the 40-yard line. Adam Studer. That was very took good. A big on hop on the run at about the 27. Got it to the 40. Cyclones with the football at. They're going to put it at the 41, at the Cyclone 41, 4.30 to go. That was a 26-yard punt and a 14-yard return in the third and four situation. Third down and four at the Cyclone 47. Darren, draw play. Got a little hole for he got his first Fagan. Down. There's a Fagan run for the first down into the 52. Mm -hmm. Power eye in the backfield. Hall gets a little hole, goes to the outside, cuts back in behind Tim Hemminger, going across the 35 to about the 33 first down Cyclones. That was out of, off trips formation for the Cyclones. Fagan, counter play inside, crosses the 30, and he'll get to the 27. Se 27, a gain of five. And Brody Darren, the quarterback, leading the play. Okay, Brody brings him up, third and six at the 17. Just put the Cyclones in a passing situation. It's a trips formation right. Three receivers to the right side. Darren takes a snap. The fake, he's got the football, and he's going to run with it. Gets by with one, puts his head down, going to be got the first down. Brody Darren, it was a scissors pass. He kept the ball, made the wise choice, saw some opening. He's going to take it to the nine. First and goal, Cyclones at the nine. Olson brings the play in from the sideline. Just inside the 10. It's first and goal at the 9. Cyclones come out in the power eye. Mans is split wide to the right side. Hall in the, in the power spot. Darren takes a snap. Pitches to Hall. Coming left. Cuts back inside. Has a seam. Going to be down close to, about to the three. two or three. Ben Hall found a seam. Got a good block from Fagan. Cut it back. He cut back against the grain very nicely, Dave. Ball on the three. Right at the three-yard line. Wyatt Stubbe, along with Eric Olson, the safety, bringing down. But it'll be second down and goal at the three. Cyclones, 10.39 to go in the second quarter. We're scoreless from the Dome. 3A football semifinals. Darren takes a snap. Fagan, right tackle. Fagan. Touchdown. Touchdown. Ryan Fagan over the right tackle. And that was the biggest hole he's seen yes. all night. Yes, it was. Cyclone, six. Ryan, zero. 10.29 to go. First quarter. Jamie Martin in to kick the point. He's 48 points on the season from extra points. Blatt the snapper, man's a holder. Good snap, good hold, and the kick is right good. up the middle. Cyclone seven, Lion zero. One thing we've always liked about doing a broadcast from the Dome, Larry, the guy on the scoreboard is very quick with his yard Yes, line. he is. And if I went what? behind the pole, I could see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it weren't such a tall pole. I know, I know. Third and four, Cyclone defense, Cyclone faithful on the far side, on their feet. All the red and white clad Cyclones, the purple and white Lions on this side. Everybody in the place is on their feet, but you and me, Larry. Second man through, Cruel. No, the pitch oh. out. Excellent pitch out. And he got his first down, I think. Great fake. It's going to be close. Great fake. Time he sends Eben wide left. Tilly wide right. High in the backfield. Reverse pivot. Gives to the nothing. Clayton Sorensen and, and uh, Matt Schwery stopped that little counter play as well, the fullback. Down the line left side. This Le is a sweep, is a all, sweep the way all the way. And he's got some room. Gets Not pinned much. in. Knocked off his Fumble. The balls on the ground. And they say that line yep. It's got it back. Yep. Takes a snap. He gives to the fullback straight ahead. Not much. No. Cruel Matter spins of fact, off. He but, got uh, nothing, I don't Schwezo think. dropped him. 
Sondag. Ready to punt. Gets a good snap. Good snap. One step. High good spiral. Punt. Long kick. It's going over everybody's head. Wow. Deep into Lion territory. To the nine-yard line. Pick it up at the ten. And be dropped by Tony Studer right there. No gain. Got one yard on the return. By Sondag over everybody's head. Heard it. Tried to pick it up. Tony was there. Dropped him. They're going to say just outside the ten. Call it the eleven, Larry. 66 yards off the foot of Todd Sondag, and that one just took I off. Mean, it was a good 40 in the air. It went right over yep. everybody's head and then took the big turf bounce, and Tony Studer, hustling hard, made the tackle. Lion football at just outside their 10. Power eye in the backfield, counter play. Lost yard. Nothing there. Clayton Sorensen. Who else was in there? Grafing was the line back, was the back carrying the ball. He defensively, the Cyclones digging in, third and two at the Th this line This would be a 18. big stop here. Fullback, right tackle. Nothing. I don't think he got it. No, he Still didn't. bouncing out. He's no, he didn't get. No, he, he got back to the line of scrimmage. We'll see where they spot it. It's at the 18. 18, right where it was. Cyclones with a big defensive stand after a beautiful punt. They're going to get the ball back with uh, a little over two minutes to go in the quarter. Just enough time. You might, is, is the block on here? Well, it is. Fourth the lining's in there. Dominic's on this side. Here he comes. And they got the ball. Got the football. And it's going to be. Oh, that was not smart. And the Lions are going to get it back because the Cyclones. That was not didn't smart. Didn't stay nope, away from nope. the ball. They Should just have stayed away. Go. Dominic blocked it. Yeah, he did. It's going to be Lions. Yeah, football. it is. Because it's a free ball. The Cyclones touched it. They needed to stay away from it. 2.35 to go. Lions with the ball front. at their own 33-yard line. <laughs> Boovey gives to his fullback. Burchett stops him for about a yard. And four for the Lions at their own 39. Yeah, the Cyclones with a major mistake on that punt, but uh, they got to dig in here on third and four. Booby counter play, Eben going going left, gets stuffed. He got stuffed. Give him a yard. Is that Eben, you say? And the stop was made by Plum and Tony Studer. Plum and Tony Studer, and I think the Cyclones are going to take a timeout. Yeah, they are. Beating 7 to nothing, minute 21 till half. The Union, Harlan. Okay, Booby back. Oh, and he got draw. He gets stuffed. A quarterback draw. Clayton Sorensen. There. The Lions will get the ball first. The Cyclones will kick it off. Defend the south goal. That's the goal to our left. And, uh, well, we got a half to go. If it's as tough a physical battle as the first half, boy, these guys will know they've been in one. Even wide left, eye in the backfield. And, That's just uh, where he's going to pass. The pass, it's out in the flat. Almost intercepted. Almost intercepted by Suizo. Suizo got a hand on it. Intended for Kempema. Nate. You made the comment in the first half, Larry, that when the Booby did go back to pass those two times, he didn't have much time. He didn't have much time there either. No, he didn't. Cyclones are coming hard for him. Cyclones defensively. Rick Thompson and Adam Pash at the ends. Chad Plum and Matt Schwery on the tackles. Clayton Sorensen, your nose. Mike Burchett and Tim Jacobson, the linebackers. Man in motion is Eben coming across the formation. The pitch to Vander Zee coming wide. He gets a little hole, but That's it. down from behind. Mike about four. Jacobson come roaring in from the backside and drop him on the pitch out. Going to get out to the 28-yard line. Gain of four. Fourth and four. Looks like the Cyclones hold him. Cyclones should. Shoneman back in punt formation. It's a good snap. And again, real close to the block, and that one's going to go. Yeah, it's out of bounds. Across the formation. Booby. Keeps the he's, football. He's got he's, the football. He cuts back in. Oh, and up upended. Ended. Yep. By Tim Jacobson. He's going to gain about three or four. No, either. Adam Studer, Ryan Fagan deep. And here comes the kick. Good kick there. And it's going to be Studer the at the 30. 30. Going to the far side. Cuts up the middle. Gets a block. Oh, 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 45. Oh. To the 48. Adam Studer. And, man, he needed one more step. Yes, he did. But I don't know how he got through the middle of there in the first place. So that was a 40-yard kick and an 18-yard return. Three at the 44, the Lion 44. 
Brody Darren has him set. Takes a snap. Fagan. He got it. Right tackle. Cuts back in on his feet. 37-yard line. It's a very much improved offensive line. They've gotten better with every game all season long. All seniors. First down Cyclones at the 37. Darren. Ben Olsen. By ben Olsen. It's a hole up the middle. On his feet inside the 30. 25. Ben Olsen. Fullback. Quick opener. Right over Strong. Between Strong and Black. Gain of 13. And that's what happens when they key on Fagan. The ball's inside the 25. We'll call it the 24. Mm -hmm. First down Cyclones. Just a cramp. David Brook comes in to replace him. Fullback. Cruel. Takes right tackle. Going to get one. That's nothing. Boy, Maybe if you give one. him one, it's generous. Well, let's see. David Brock, right in the bottom of that pile, along with Tim Jacobs and the he two linebackers. Called 41 to go in the third quarter. Booby coming. Here he comes to the he's left. He's going to pitch it. And he's no, he's not. Turned back in. No game. Good job defensively. Well, they had Tim it covered. Jacobson made him stutter step and go back to the inside, where here come help in the form of uh, David Brock. Oh, High in the backfield. Vander Zee and Cruel. Yeah, he's going to Straight back to pass. And he's going to throw a little screen right up the middle. And Matt Swery broke that it. one yep, up. Broke it. Didn't get that one intercepted, but he had a hand on it. Intended for Cruel on the middle screen. The Cyclones are in the power eye with the two fullbacks in the power spots. The snap. Fagan, right tackle behind his two fullbacks. Gets inside. Is going to get about five on that one. As they just started the fourth quarter, Cyclones lead it. They have second and four at their own 44. The Lions have rushed the ball uh, 35 five times for 98 yards, one for three passing for four yards. Not much offense. Mm -mm. Great defense. Brody has him set. Pitch out. Fagan goes left, cuts back, gets hit. Well, he's still going to get three. For a couple. Booby. Two anyway. Brody Darren has him set. Takes a snap. Fagan right he tackle. Got he got his first down at the 50. Midfield. Had a nice hole. The Cyclones. Darren is back to pass. And he's looking for Hall. Has got him. First down, Ben Hall at the 38. Gain nice of 11. Ball. Ben Hall went down, hooked up. He went just past the first down marker. Hooked inside. Caught the ball. Metzger and uh, Olsen were there. But Ben Hall, nice catch right on the fingers. Trips formation left. Fagan in the slot on the left. Darren pitches out. Sondag tries to cut back. Gets a little hole on his feet. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, I saw just what you saw, I Larry. Think, I think the guy had his face mask. But. It's at Ben Hall wide left. Man's wide right. Eye in the backfield. The Lions up there in a six-man line. And Fagan is going to dive off the right tackle for the first close. down. He's going to be close. I think he got it. Well, they're not, he's not getting a favorable mark. No, he isn't. Cyclones, fourth and one. This could be a play that has a great bearing on the football game. I think you're right. Fourth and one. Brody Darren, and there are nine men in the box. Darren, the sneak, and he'll get it. I think he got it. They're going to give it, I do believe. Wow. There were nine men in the box that time. Well, Seven know. of them We're right close. inside They're the tackles. They're going to measure. Eye in the backfield. Darren, back to pass. And he's looking across the middle. Oh, ben Hall. Had him in the hands. Couldn't hang the on. Boy, Hall got Stubie. nailed. Hall's laid up a little yep. bit. And Stuby made a great hit on the defense yeah, side. Yeah, he did. And fourth and ten, 6-16 to go in the game. Darren, back to pass. And he's going to oh. get sacked. He didn't throw it. He's going to get sacked. Good coverage by the Lions. And the Lions are going to take over at their own 30 31. Line. 31. 31. Loss of three. Lion football, 6 7 to go in the football game. Cyclones up 7 0. And hang on to your hat, Larry. Yep. High in the backfield, two receivers wide right. The pitch out. Vanderzee gets turned back inside and going to get two, maybe just one. Ryan Lawler, Matt Squarey, Tim Jacobson. He's going to get one. 42 to go in the football game. The clock is running. Cyclones up seven to nothing. Second down and nine for the Lions. So you're high in the backfield. For reverse. Fullback gets hit by Schwezo in the hole. He's gonna get three. That's maybe. A, maybe. No, two. Adam Studer, Schwezo. Schwezo just coming up from safety, filling that hole on the big fullback. And uh, that's two plays that Bovey didn't carry. That's right. But uh, Booby. Ooh, they had motion. Going back to pass. Get some, get some heat. Now he has some time. And uh, he's going to get run out of bounds by yep. Clayton Sorensen. Ooh. 4.45 to go in the ball game. 
Schoeneman is back. He gets a high snap. He brings it down. They got Locked it. Blocked by Dominic. Dominic's Dominic going to score. Dominic's going to score. Dominic Leinen. Touchdown. The touchdown. Corner of the end zone. Big <laughs> sophomore. He blocked it. He picked it up. And he took it to the corner. 21 yards. And Dominic's been doing that all season long as he took that one to the corner right off of the foot of Dan Schoeneman. Dominic Leinen, he got a piece of the one before, yeah. but he never blocked a bigger one in his life. Booby, He's got back to throw pass, going to get some heat. And they got him. Thompson's going to sack him. Rick Thompson, the ball's on the carpet. Well, it, you know, he, it, 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 the carpet caused it. Rick Thompson, wow, just kept up relentless pursuit. A loss of seven. Rick Thompson, 35 tackles on the year coming in. Eight for losses, none bigger than that one. And now they're bringing the punt team on with 320 to go in the ball game. Shaman back. We won't to punt. We won't try a kick. Fagan block Stewart. here. Yes, we oh, will. They're going to run it. They got run. him. And Adam Skink. Adam He's Skink got him on down the on the 15. Losing back at the 15. Loss of nine. Adam Skink, the junior linebacker, and the Cyclones have really stepped her up in the fourth quarter. Yes, they have. Wow. But you won't see the Cyclones try to score. They may score, but I don't think they'll try. 3.05 to go in the ball game. Cyclones, with, yeah. well, both teams have three timeouts. Yeah. So you can't yeah. just the Cyclones, sit on it. Yeah, the Cyclones will try to score. But the Cyclones are in field goal range. And mm -hmm. a field goal on top makes them score three times. That's I don't right. think that's going to happen. No, I don't either. Okay, Brody has him in an eye. Which way is Fagan going? Snap, right to side. The right Fagan. side. He's going to get uh, five. five. Ten yard line. Ryan Fagan spinning inside to the ten. The Cyclones, do we dare say it, they have taken it over. Yes, they have. They came out of the locker room to start the second half and took it over. There were some critical penalties yeah. on both teams. They, they really took it over in the, the fourth quarter. Yes. Second down and five. Brody Darren takes a snap. Fagan, right tackle. He's going to get, get two. two. And that Coach Gallinger, Coach Blatt, the offensive brain trust, send it in. Hall and Manns both wide to the right side. Paul Bruck, you're tight on on the left. Eye in the backfield. Darren takes a snap. He's coming on a bootleg to the oh. left side and heading for the corner. Going to put his head down. Look at that. People and get a first down at the three. He heard about two of them. And that's a case of 6'8", 223. Hello, how do you like that? Gain of six. And uh, I'll tell you, Josh Bath, he stood right in there and, and met him head to head. But he's coming off holding his shoulder. Brody Darren on a bootleg, which we haven't seen all year. Mm -mm. That was run all the way, and he took it to the three where it's first and goal at the three. Minute 40 to go. Well, the whole Lion team, except for the two down here in the corner, were following Fagan. Wouldn't you? Sure. Now they got nine guys in the box. Fagan, right tackle, outside. Touchdown. 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 Ryan Fagan for the Cyclones from three yards out, and Fagan continues to add to his school record. Two and Jamie Martin, I don't want to jinx anything. Well, don't say it yet. So I'm not going to talk about this extra <laughs> point. But uh, it would be his 51st of the season. Man's a holder. Blatt the snapper. Good hold, good snap, good kick. Okay, and now Jamie you can talk Martin about it. has tied Galen Boyk's 15-year-old extra point record in a season. Now, not mm -hmm. the regular no. season. This is the total season. Total season. Galen Boyk hit 51 and 83, and then he broke his leg uh, before the season That's finished. That's right. Uh, 1982. 82 it was. He broke his leg in the semis against Fairfield. He had 51. Jamie Martin has just kicked his 51st extra point of the season, and the Cyclones are up 21 to nothing. Who to thunk? Well, at halftime, nobody. <laughs> this side of the field starting to get in position for good seats as Booby back to pass, throwing it deep. Tony Studer <clears throat> is back there. Intercepted. Interception. And he's got room down the sideline, going to take it across the field. He's at the 50, gets a block, cuts it inside, 40. And Tony Studer puts an exclamation point yes, on that, does. baby. Cyclone football with a minute to go. Cyclone's up 21 to nothing. On KNOD football, they don't get any better than this one, Larry. 
Well, we'll be looking forward to seeing you this week and back up here next Saturday. Ryan Fagan, left tackle, gets a hole, gets nine, as they're just running the clock out. Did he get nine? I think so. Maybe eight. I'm generous. Let's go eight. Let it run out with 16 seconds and counting. The, the ball, the clock starts, and the Cyclones come on the field. The Lions are not going to take the time. Cyclones 21. Lions zero in the semifinals. Now we'll have to wait around and see Decora and Grinnell, two more undefeated, see what they can do to match up with the Cyclones next Saturday afternoon. We'll be right back. Cyclone clad in red and white. Moving in, getting set for this one, but uh, this is going to be a great one, Larry. Uh, it's going to be uh, the 11th time I've had the pleasure to broadcast a championship game with the Cyclones. This is your sixth, and Dick Dotzler helped us on those other five, and uh, it's been a ball. We're looking forward for a great football game. What do you think? Well, like I said, I think this is going to be a mammoth defensive struggle. It's going to be decided on breaks or the lack thereof, you know, what the other team does. The team that fumbles the ball or gets past this intercepted is probably going to get beat today. And un unlike that first game, which was 41-40 wild, we don't expect it to be that way. But, uh, you know, let's tee it up. Let's kick it off. Let's get this thing going. We'll be back for the championship of 3A football, the Cyclones and the Tigers, right after this. Enjoy an evening of fine dining at 191 in Portsmouth. Video Place is your complete video store with movie and VC. on the University of Northern Iowa. The Cyclones will receive the official signal. Larry was that the Cyclones won the toss and will receive. I think Grinnell won I the toss too. and deferred. I do too. At any rate, the Cyclones had their choice. Grinnell will get the ball to start the second half. As the Cyclones send Ryan Fagan and the Studer boys, Tony and Adam, deep to return. The Tigers will have uh, Brad Routier. Rudier. Rudier. He's a junior. 165, kicking off. It's on the tee. We're ready to go. Larry, let's have a great championship. Yes, let's do it, bud. Referee says, let her go. And here we go. Cyclones will get the ball first. A driving kick. It takes a high hop. We'll bounce to Fagan. He picks it up right 15. at the 15, up the middle. He's at the uh, 25 and fights his way out to about the 29-yard line. Come out, two receivers. Hall wide. Man's in the slot on the right side. Eye in the backfield. Darren has the ball. Pitches to Fagan. Left side. No, he's going to lose ground. For loss. Fumble. Ball's loose. Grinnell's going to pick it up and score. Yep. It's a touchdown, Grinnell. Ian Osman. Okay, third and ten for the Cyclones. Big third down play here because they're backed up to their own 20-yard line. Eye in the backfield. Hall wide left. Man's wide right. Brody Darren, the quarterback, takes a snap, and he's back looking for the middle. the middle. Oh, he's got a man here wide open is Bruck. Back to Bruck, he's at the 40. 45-50, Paul Bruck on his feet in Tiger territory. And that's the beauty of this team, Larry. Yeah, they can Paul do Bruck both. dropped one, and Brody didn't even think about it. He came right back. Bruck was the man that was open. That's coming right. Across. He hit him with the pass right on the old number five, and Bruck Down took to her the to 45, the Tiger 45. So 45. Gain of 35 yards. Down Cyclones in Tiger territory. And, uh, you know, we, we talked to a lot of people up here the last couple of days, and uh, you and I pretty much agreed, too, that the Cyclones are going to have to be able to throw the ball yep. because the t Tigers are tough up front. Darren has him set, draw play, Fagan. He gets hit behind the line, but he walks out of that one. Still on his feet, he's going to get to the 39. Gain of about six. He got hit three yards deep in the backfield, walked right out of the tackle. And Gallinger, Coach Blatt, calling the plays for the offensive side. Coaches Carstens and Hozak on the defensive side. Here come the Cyclones out of the huddle. Man's wide right, Hall wide left. Paul Bruck is a tight end on the right side. Second and five. There's the turn. Right tackle. Fagan gets a hole. Spins. Going to get about three. four. Three or four. Quarterback keep it here. Third and one. It's kind of, they have. They took the uh, nose man 180 out and brought in the big dog. And they're in an eight-man defensive yep, line. And Brody is gonna Brody's sneak not going to get it. He gets nothing. He got nothing. They stuffed that they stuffed play. Stuffed it. Cyclones, let's see where they're going to go with this one. They won't go quarterback. They've got Kyle at 225 on the nose this time. Darren, left side, Fagan. He got it. His first down. 
over left tackle. You got about two. three. Two, give, give him two yep. at the 33 yard line. First and 10 Cyclones. And they uh, just said, we're going off tackle. You go ahead and play that gap eight. You stopped one, you're not stopping two. I guess they, they did give him three. First and 10. Hall wide left. Man's wide right. Brody Darren, the quarterback. Six foot eight, 223 pounds senior, has a ball. Back to pass. He's got uh, a game. Wide open. Brooks wide open. He's at the 20. Brooks at the 15. He's at the 10. He's Touchdown. Paul Brock. Touchdown in the corner. The same pass pattern. Brody Darren to Paul Brock. 33 it's yards. It's 6 for the Tigers, but uh, the Cyclones come marching down the field. 80 and yards. to cover Paul Brock. That's right. Across a delayed drag route from the tight end. The first one that he dropped, he was lined up wing back. In this case, he's a slot third down and three at the 48. The long count by the Tigers. The quick pitch goes outside, and Jansen has some room to run. Not much, he's not be enough. Down by to or Adam Studer. Adam Studer and Adam Pash. He didn't get it. He didn't get it. Uh uh. He gained about one. And Studer with a patented Studer tackle, and both Adam and Tony do it well. They go for the ankles, and you're dead meat. Wing T in the backfield. He's Back to pass is Anderson. He's looking out in the flat. Oh, 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 oh. Knocked down by Tim Jacobson. He had a hand on it. Oh. And if he got two, it was a six Yeah, pointer. it was. 4.58 to go first quarter. We're tied 7-7 in the dome. Right side. Split backs in the backfield. The turn, the, the quick pitch to Jansen. And he Steps gets out, out of one it. tackle. He sure does. He's going to gain four. He's a high stepper, Larry. Yes, he is. Tony Studer, Rick Thompson, Schwizo, Schwery, they were all there, but uh, Tony Studer and Rick Thompson were the, the main two, but that was the quick pitch to the right side, picked up about three. Yep, three. Third and seven at the 34. Man in motion is Whitver across the formation. There's the snap. The fake He's going to throw it. going to throw it out in the flat here, and it'll be incomplete. Good job. Studer and Fagan, they're at the Cyclone 27. And here's a nice high Ooh. kick again. Stu uh, Fagan's going to take this one to 36. 36. And he's got room on his feet across the 50 into Tiger territory. Ryan Fagan, first down Cyclones. Cyclone football, first and 10 at the 47 of the Tigers. Eye in the backfield. Brody Darren, he's going to throw the quick look into Hall out in the flat. He's at the 40, spins inside, drags him in. He's down to the 37. Well, that's close to a first down, Dave, but I think he's just a little short. The High School Athletic Association, in conjunction with University of Northern Iowa, puts on quite a show here in the state championships. Brody Darren back to pass, and he's got mans, and, but he's going for Hall, and he's got Touchdown. the ball. Touchdown! They were both open. He could pick yeah. the one he wanted. Yeah, and he did. Tim Jacobson, uh, what a game he had in, in the semifinals, Larry. He's, He's up to place. 102 tackles on the season, 15 of them for losses. He was all over the place. Again, split backs. This time Whitver's on the right wing. Anderson, the quarterback. Second man is Jansen on a sweep to the right side. Pash uh -oh. up there, drop him. No gain. No gain. Adam Pash. And Pash slipped. Yes. Pash slipped and dropped the whole thing. And there's a flag on the play. Might be a face mask. As Chad Plum and Tim Jacobson are there, along with Chris Schwizo. Sweezo's a sneaky rascal, Larry. Yes, he is, and he's get, been in on a lot of tackles 105 on the year, plus three interceptions from his safety man. He comes up and supports so fast. I know he makes a lot of tackles that I don't even give him credit for yeah, because he's, he's always there. He's a great reader. Okay. Wing formation left on second down and nine. Anderson turns, gives to the second man, Wallace. Nothing. And he gets nothing. Over the left tackle as Tim Jacobson stepped up along with Clayton Sorensen in the slot. And down the line, they're going to pitch it back on a reverse. Uh -huh. and Adam Pesh. Pesh got off of a block yes. and got him. The guy was even holding him, and he got up. Joel Dayton tried to block him, and Pesh was blocked to the ground, got up, and made the tackle. Was that Whitford? Wow. What a play by Pash, the defensive end. That's his 14th tackle for a loss this year. Fourth and 12 at the 43. There's a snap back to Henderson. And a nice, nice high spiral kick. that Adam Studer will back and take it about the 18. 18. And here he comes to the left side. And he has some got room. Some run. Run. Got a man to beat and can't get around, uh, can't get around Wallace. But he's out to the 34. 
Runs in a power eye with both fullbacks in the ball game. Ben Hall split wide to the left. Brody Darren takes the ball, gives it, and he's, he's still got it. it. And he's going to throw deep down the field to Hall, who's out behind the receiver. And he's got touchdown. it. Touchdown. They will not catch they Ben Hall. They won't catch Ben Hall. 83 yards. 83 touchdown. yards. Touchdown, Ben Hall. I'm telling you, Larry, they can't they run can't, with they can't, Benny. They can't run with Ben. Ben Hall. 83 yards from Brody Darren. How do you like them apples? I love it. J.T. Anderson, the senior quarterback. Man in motion is Whitfer across the formation of the near side. The quick pitch goes to Jansen. Fumble! It's on the ground. And I don't know who's going to have it. Yeah. Grinnell. There's a quick pitch to uh, Jansen. And there's the end of the quarter. Cyclones 21, Tigers 7. Okay, first quarter stats. Uh, the Tigers from Grinnell have rushed the ball 10 times for 28 yards or 0 for 2 passing. Cyclones have rushed the ball 9 times for 16 yards, so we haven't gotten much on the ground, but listen to this. 7 attempts, 5 completions for 198 yards in the air. And 2 touchdowns. And 2 touchdowns. Tiger football, second and 18 at their own 23. No, Anderson, three, three, touchdowns. three touchdowns. Anderson back to pass. Clayton Sorensen with some pressure. He's going deep. Tony Studer's back there. Oh, he pulled him down. Be incomplete. And there is a flag. That Who was are they going to call it? Offensive pass interference. I would think so. It he, looked like he, he just pulled jerked Tony. him right down. It comes back. So it's third and 28. Cyclones in a five-man defensive line. The Tigers, Anderson, takes a reverse play to Whitber. He gets by the whole line uh -oh. of but then Suizo comes up and really puts a hammer on him. And ball goes wide left. Manns and Fagan in the trips formation to the right side. Ben Olsen, there's a counter play. Brody still has it. Going to throw out in the flat. He's got Brock open at the 40. Take him out, Paul. Gets to the 30. Paul's still on his feet. He's driving <laughs> to the 25. Paul Brock takes people with him to the 25. A gain Whitfer. of 25. Down to the 24. Whitfer and Asplin, they stopped at the 30 to buy a ticket for the bus ride. And he took them to the 24. Yeah. Kind of looks that way tonight. Okay. Backside oh, is Hall on the counter. Look ben at Hall that. going to score. Touchdown. And he hauled 24 yards on a counter play out of the power eye and basically untouched. He made a nice cut at the he, 15. He, he just stepped through a guy at the 15, but the guy never yep. got him. And went in. Cyclones 27. Tigers 7. Cy the Cyclones, Larry, are putting on an awesome display. Well, so much for uh, both teams' defense Yeah, so far. So, so much far. for the defensive struggle. Yep. Because I actually thought it would be. Okay, Jamie Martin set to kick it. The snap is good. Ball's down. Kick is up. And it's and good. It is good. Cyclones 28-7. 947 to go to halftime. Cyclones up 28 to 7. JT Anderson has the ball, getting pressure again, throws it across in the flat, and this time Tim Jacobson drops him after about a four or five yard gain. Gain fourth and nine, so it's an awful big down for the uh, Grinnell Tigers here. Cyclone faithful on their feet. They love their defense. Shotgun formation. JT Anderson has it. He's getting some big pressure. Wide open out in the flat is Wallace. And he got his first he down. He got real close. I oh, he, he got a bad spot. The fullback. He got, he got a it. bad spot and did not get it. He didn't get it. Boy, I'm telling you. He was all alone, but but uh, Schwezo closed that in a hurry. Cyclones take over. Yep. I doubt if the Tigers figured they'd be in a shotgun this early in the ball game either, Larry. We're going to have it all. This is a 4th of July fireworks here on both teams. Kick returns, long pass plays, and lots of hitting up front. But you know, the hitting I've seen so far, uh, the Cyclones have been, been delivering. The guys in the red shirts have been delivering the blow. Here they come out of the huddle. Hall goes wide left, man's wide right. Bruck that tight end on the right side, eye in the backfield. Darren, draw a play to Fagan, and he has a big hole up the middle, cuts back, and he's on his feet, and he could go. No. Darren's at the 40, cuts back in at the 45, he's at the 50-yard line. A gain of 34, 33 yards by uh, Fagan. Brody Darren, second at nine, and Fagan is leaning. Yeah. Yep, there's a flag, and he's going to go deep for Ma a Mans makes a great catch. Mans always makes great catches. And it won't count because Fagan was leaning. We 
in a wing T formation on third and 14 from their own 30. Anderson back to pass on a bootleg. He's got oh, 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 oh. He ran out of time. He who, had time who was and then that? Pash uh, canceled his clock for him. Is that, yep, Pash. Adam Pash drops him at the 23. Cyclones 28 to 7. That's right, fans. If you just came to the kitchen, 28 to 7. High snap. Henderson gets it and gets it away to Studer. He'll have it at about the 40, and he's got some room on the outside to the right side. Gets around. Well, you know, that Wallace is good in the open field because Studer yep. couldn't shake him. That's right. Cyclones in an eye. First and 10. 6.02 to go to halftime. Cyclones up 28 to 7, and Fagan gets a counterplay. All kinds of room. He's in the open field. Puts his head down, runs over Whitford. Carries him to the 32-yard line. It is. That's a screen pass, Larry. He steps behind the line of scrimmage, and Bruck and Manns sprint out on the D-backs, and Hall comes inside of them and turns it up. It's a screen pass to the flanker. Little first time we've seen it this year. Fagan, counterplay right side, has a hole, gets a block. Great He's block. on feet inside the 10. Great block. Chad Plum was Chad leading Plum. the way. Yep. Hemminger's down there, buried the safety man. Fagan took it to the 8. The Cyclones, they've got the playbook open, Larry. We've seen yeah. a lot of plays here, a lot of variety. Here come the Cyclones out of the eye. Man's wide right, Hall to the left. Sondag's your fullback. Fagan is your uh, tailback. And Fagan, right guard, and he'll get to the seven. Six or seven, yeah. yeah. And goal at the seven. And again, I'm saying just uh, file this one away because I know it's Coach Gallinger and the coaches up in the box, uh, Dan Linen and Kelly Jewell and Al Simdorn up they there. They throw for this one. They saw that the too hall. because he's got single coverage and can get inside of it out on the left on the look in. Brody takes a snap. There, there it is. is. And Hall's got it. Touchdown. We it was called. How about that one, Larry? You did a good job. <laughs> It was so obvious I even saw it. <laughs> Cyclones 34 to 7 over the Tigers, and we've got 340 to go till halftime. I've got to what tell an you, awesome display this one of passing. just flabbergasts me. Amazing. Well, they obviously don't throw much <laughs> where these people play. But look at that, 236 yards in the air. And Ian Hall four has touchdowns. four touchdowns. Four touchdowns. Mans. Ready to, for the snap. It's down. The kick is up. And it looks there. good. Cyclones 35 to 7. 340. JT Anderson on the bootleg back to pass, and here comes Fagan. Oh. Pass went right through the blocker. Right, right through the block. Right yep. through the blocker and stuffed him. You sure that was Pash? Yes, Pash okay. and Plum. Yep, Pash but it was Pash from the backside. Yep, yep, well. Second and 17, Anderson. And back to pass. He runs into his he own man. make it now, either. Look at that. Sure he's going to dump him with some help. And Who about four of there? them. Pash was close. Uh, Rick Thompson. Rick Thompson was there. But Sherry was the first one. 15. Cyclone 24, Anderson the quarterback, straight back to pass. Thompson has some heat on him. He completes it to Whitford in the flat. Fumble. Loose, and the Cyclones, Cyclones have it. get it. 
Mike Burchett got the uh, recovery. That was a four-yard pass. Field Cyclone football, 8.30 to go, third quarter. Fagan on a counter, gets a block. And a hole. And about nine. 30 rushing touchdowns. Straight ahead is Sondag, the fullback, and he's in the open, and he might go. They're not, not gonna, Sondag, they're, they're not, not going to catch him. him. I don't think. Well, they yeah, might. They did. Osmond caught him by the shirt at the 10. Todd Sondag up the middle. Wow. Fullback was loose and just couldn't <laughs> quite pull away. 11-yard line. Osmond caught him. 54 yards on the carry. 73. Mm. He won't get that. No. But he just got a big hole over the right tackle. Look at that. Still driving to the two. Three of them there to t bring him down. At the two. They can get a first down before the touchdown. Fagan right side. Not touchdown. Have to. Touchdown. Ryan Fagan off the right side from two yards out. Cyclones 41, Tigers 7. Okay. Wide receiver, wide to the left side, and they're going to try to hit him on the oh, end, and it's going to be intercepted, intercepted. by to Adam Studer. He's on his feet back to the 38. Good job. Michael Burchett tipped it, and Adam Studer picked it off the carpet Almost off about the carpet. a half an inch yeah. off the ground and brings it back to the 38, and the Cyclones just refuse to give in. <laughs> Don't let him try to fake him out. That's when you twist your knees. Yeah, that's right. Just run right over him. Down to Paul Brooks. Look at that. that ball. Ball, Paul Brooks at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 27. Paul Brook and Brody just let it go. Uh, Paul Brook ran underneath it. I got the secret for Paul Brook. You got to throw him the ball. The, let him drop the first And let him drop one. So, and uh, it's the state championship. There's nothing to hold back for. It's an all-senior offense, Larry. Yes, it is. 11 seniors. But really 12 with the two fullbacks. Straight ahead, Ben Olson. <laughs> He's open, cuts off a good block. He's at the 10. He's at the 8. He got a great block from Eric Manns, the flanker. Yep. And Ben Olson with a nice run. All the way to the 8-yard line. Gain of 18 for Olson on his first carry of the game. Trips formation. Sondag, pitch out. Oh, he's going to score. Look at that. Todd Sondag from eight yards out on the pitch out, standing up. This is, I, I'm going to say this number. This is unbelievable. Yes, it is. It's 48 to 7 with 317 to go, third quarter, as Todd Sondag gets his fourth touchdown of the season. Yeah, Larry, it's uh, just a, quite a quality group of Cyclones. Senior dominated, and you know, 16 of these seniors that are playing today are the youngest or only son in the family. Oh, is that there right? are 16 sets of parents down here. Now, I don't know if that's a record. You know, I don't keep them all. Yeah. But there are 16 sets of parents who are getting some tears in their eyes about this time of the afternoon yeah. because they're youngest. They won't have any more Cyclones playing football. Okay, back to that set. Oh, the screen. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Matt Schwery. Matt Schwery had it. Yep. <laughs> Matt Schwery. He's intercepted one of those this year, yep. and he had that well, one in his he side. He wanted number two because he was going to score. He's this. No, it was Plum that intercepted earlier. Plum? Schwery uh, has, has batted a couple down on that center screen. That's right. Plum had one for a touchdown. <laughs> Not it doesn't seem possible we're still in the third quarter, Larry. No, it doesn't. 49-7 to seven Cyclones. Total domination of the football game. Counter play, Fagan, right side. He's on his feet and loose. And he's at the 35 and felt the pressure from the back and tried to come back inside. They pull him down 27. Here comes Adam Studer, Michael Burchett, and Tim Jacobson, three of the 23 seniors, coming out, Cyclone Faithful, on their feet. Yard gain. There's more Cyclones coming out. Clayton Sorensen, Clayton. Tony Studer, Matt Schwery, and Chad Plum. And here comes Chris Suizo, the leading tackler for the Cyclones the last two years. Chris Suizo, 6'1", 181, the safety, and he oh. is a force. Now they're going to back up. Here comes Ryan Lawler, one of the few juniors one that's of the a starter. Few. Dominic.
Mike Leinen goes in, the sophomore, to replace him. And Larry, we'll ask the fans to kind of stay with us if we become somewhat discombobulated. And it will happen. On the last six minutes because uh, we're, we just got all kinds of people coming up wanting information. They want to know about this guy, that guy. And now it's Henderson sweeping to the right side. <laughs> Stephen Schulte. <laughs> Stephen Schulte. Nailed it up the five. Drive. Gain of one. Coming in, Adam Pash and Rick Thompson, the bookend defensive ends coming out of the ball game. Punt formation, Henderson in the back of his end zone. And Murtaugh and, and uh, Dominic Ryan goes back for the fair catch. Well, I'm going to have to dig down offensively. What a show. And Larry, let's hear it for Tim Hemminger, Jeff Strong, Todd Blatt, Jared Barrett, and Chad Plum, the unsung heroes, every football team, the offensive line. But we all know they were there. Oh, and the guys in white know they were there, too. Yep. Gallinger has them set. Takes a snap. Pitch out to Fagan. Right side. Fagan has some room to run. He's into Tiger territory at about the 47. I'll bet you the mortgage. Fagan gets the ball right here. The snap. What do you know? Fagan, right tackle. Got two, maybe three. I think that's it. I he think that's two. it. I think that's the record for the... Uh, and the coaching staff thinks it's a record because here they come. They're on their feet. I hope and here they right. come. And Fagan should shake hands with every offensive lineman that ever blocked for him. Tim Hemminger and Todd Blatt in particular have been in on most of them. So we think he got two extra yards. We're not sure. Cyclones, everybody wearing a red shirt has been in the ball game and contributed to a 49-7 state championship number eight for the Harlan Community Cyclones. And a great Harlan Community crowd. Kurt Black, 21st season, has seven state championships, but he only has a part of them because Ken Karstens, Russ Gallinger, Bill Hozak, Al Simdorn have a little bit of the hardware themselves. Coach Terry Egan started all this out in 1972. Coach Blatt's holding up a t-shirt of some kind down there. Yep. Couldn't exactly see what it said. I'm sure but, uh, it says something about eight-time state champions. That's a new state record. He's got a lot of photographers around him. He's going to put it on right now. Let me see if I can see what it says. There's 19 seconds to go in the ball game, and uh, I can't see what it says. All I know that on this side it says XXXXL. Yeah, you're short one X. One, did I miss one? No. Okay. And uh, somebody who had anticipated it for the coach, they did know his size. You don't suppose Jill did that, do you? Maybe, oh, maybe Jill Blatt and all the coaches' wives have a little piece of that trophy, too. What a group. The Tigers Look just running that. out the clock, and the Cyclones they just, just no get a piece of the action. 13 seconds to go. The Cyclones win it. 49 to 7 over a gallant and hard fighting Tiger team from Grinnell. Larry, it was their first time in yep. the championship. They got introduced to it properly, and the Cyclones win it. And we're just going to let you listen to this, fans. We're going to stay here for a little bit. We're probably going to be around for half an hour or so, but uh, enjoy this one, Cyclone fans. It's bedlam in the dome, absolute bedlam, as the pep band with Lee Nelson and Steve Lawson, they've done their job, and the Cyclones did their job in one of the most impressive championship games we've ever seen the Cyclones play, and we've seen a lot of them. This team had a little stumble from that point on. They have gotten better and better and better. The competition has gotten better. This team just dominated Decorah and chewed him up and spit him out. And that's what their little cheer says in the end zone before the game. Chew him up, spit him out. And if you've ever seen raw meat chewed up and spit out, you saw it today as the Cyclones win the championship and uh, we're going to uh, see the presentation of the trophy. HCTV cable will be on uh, Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Is that right, Pat? 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. 
3 o'clock. She's about 30 yards or 40 yards away from me, and uh, she 